Flair, HBK. Two of arguably the best wrestlers in the history of wrestling. Man, do I have to hate when I have visuals? Or whatever. But yes, two of the greatest wrestlers of all time battle for the Intercontinental Championship in a ladder match. <clears throat> the Nature Boy Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, against Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, the Showstopper, the Icon, goes one on one with, with the guy I just mentioned in a ladder match for the IC title. Now, first, let's get to the match. I don't need a first of stuff. There you are, it's Nate coming to the ring here. Yeah, here's Nate, ladies and gents. Exclusive to Monday Night Raw. He toured the territories a part of the National Wrestling Alliance back in the 70s and 80s. One of the greatest draws in wrestling history. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And let me tell you, his uh, his drawing power in Collision in Korea may never be topped. As much as we like you to think, but whatever. Of course, Ric Flair is one of the greatest draws in wrestling history. Especially the Collision in Korea show that uh, that that wasn't because of Flair uh, being there. It was just because they were ordered to by the government, but whatever. But yes, doesn't matter. This man's legacy is huge. No matter how hard he tries to tarnish it, whether that be wrestling in TNA or wrestling in TNA, you know. Whatever. Ooh, check. Now, HBK. There's a reason why he's considered one of the greatest wrestlers ever. His matches with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25 and WrestleMania 26 live on in some of the greatest matches in WWE history. No doubt. No doubt one of the greatest... Intercontinental Champions ever. Two five-star matches with The Undertaker and Razor Ramon. Of course, he held the one of his first WWF Championship at WrestleMania against Bret Hart in the 60-minute Iron Man match. Not to mention... Not to mention, I'm sure that Another chapter in his illustrious career may continue if he does grab that title and become the champion. Many legends have held that strap. There's no doubt about it. Whether it be Pat Patterson, Randy Savage, Honky Tonk Man, uh, Santino Marilla. But yes... HBK is on that list. But yes, he looks to recapture the IC gold once again. Right here tonight. Let me tell you, HBK admired Ric Flair as a kid. Well, uh, did technically retire him, but leave the memories alone. But Rick, why didn't you heat the song? Come on. Here we are as Michael's grabbing a ladder. Let me tell you, HBK, one of the greatest wrestling, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, let me tell you. Let's go after the knee of Flair. Oh, uh, Rick? I think I'd watch that far, you Flair. Trust me. Well. The back by Michaelson. Oh no! What? What is he? What are you doing? Oh, is is this is invitation of a sincere form of flattery here? According to Michaels, it is. Figure four mug lock in the house. Classic HB chisel. Let me tell you. 
Now, if you remember that's that's Michael's. Again, let's go the hold there. Yeah. Spouting flare of those vicious ladder shots. Climb to the ladder and grab the title. That's all HBK's gotta do. Flair's just gotta get in there. Stop it. It's like he did to one of his failed marriages. That is like his wife did to one of his failed marriages and stuff, but whatever. Flair again. Oh no. It's, no, Sean. Sean. No, Sean. Uh, oh, and Flair outside the ring! Rick Flair outside the ring, Mama Mia! As Michael decides he's gonna take his own tumble off the ladder. Lovely. Better go, HBK. Might go. As he decides to climb the other side of the ladder to grab the title, and again he falls off again. Oh, uh, alright. It's again HB Shizzle. Just gonna move the letter over, man. That's all we need to do. Once again, he just climbs up. He's just gonna, he's gonna scare. Oh, no. okay. Why do I even bother? HBK trying to grab, grab the title. One hand on the title. HB Shizzle may have it here. It's like Flair's knocked down. Flair is knocked down on the outside. I think every bone in Flair's body may be broken. Makes sense, because he's like 45 million years old. You know? No offense to Ric Flair. He's awesome. Flair. Again. Sean. Not again. What do we tell you, Sean? Having an obsession of throwing guys off ladders is not a good obsession. It's like Kane's obsession with Tombstone and Pete Rose. What do you know? So once again, HBK just... Owen, you think he thought he could fly? I don't think he can fly, Sean. I'm sorry. Sean. Um, this is this is Shawn Michaels' uh, idea of learning how to fly. Jumping off a ladder onto someone. Doesn't work because of Newton's gravity laws. Because of Newton's three laws. Guess what? It will, uh... Because of Newton's three laws, we all know that he will not fly. Man, you guys probably wish you paid more attention to this class, huh? No, Michaels. Again, Michaels, the back body drop off the ladder. And again, she's so huge. Once again, you gotta unlock the man's legacy. Let me tell you. I don't know what you gotta do. Again, Michaels with a drop kick. It's again, Michaels. HP Shizzle. Starting to stomp into a oh, poor old Nate. Seems to lose poor old Nate. HBK, sweet chin music coming right up. Well, Sean, looks like a. Uh, uh, darn it, I don't have any good. I don't have any good tuning up the band jokes right now. Darn it. Well, surprisingly, unsurprisingly, Flair is bleeding. I swear that if you if I went to church with Ric Flair, I'd swear I've seen him bleed. I've seen him bleed. Like every single time I've seen him bleed. Like he'd wear like a crimson mask whenever whenever the pastor's talking. It's like Dude, you gotta you gotta chum down the bleeding, man. I mean, there are children here. You know? Here we see next switch in music. He's going to grab the title any minute now. Unfortunately, we have to tell you this message, okay? Six and a half hours later, a few inches later, day two, day three, day four, a few moments later, one eternity later. Three days later, twelve seconds later, eight months later. Had to hire a new one. Tomorrow 